It is great to have your company on the cafe. And we are talking today about kids and the importance of developing confidence and contentment. Joining us in the Harvey Norman Lounge, we welcome back Peter Crompton from Fracino School. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. Lovely to have you here. Uh, first up, how do we develop confidence in our children? Well, this is a really interesting question because um, confidence is mostly developed between the age of naught and five. So this is in the, in the preschool years. And it's developed through love and play. And it's, um, this is when most care is needed because the young child's very tender and any emotional shocks will damage their confidence. But just through letting them explore their world through love and play, that's really important at that, at that age. So that's in the preschool years? That's in the preschool years, so yeah. Then, so what role do the primary schools have then? So primary school is something different. So this is the stage when actually confidence can be undone if we're not careful. So um, love and play from naught to five, but you need to start to introduce some discipline between five and ten. And discipline, some structure and some boundaries. Because if they uh, don't have any boundaries, then they don't know where they stand. And children feel, feel lost and they start to lose their confidence in themselves if they don't have a boundaries and don't know where they stand. Right, so they really yeah. do need that sort of demarcation line of what they should, be, should and shouldn't be doing. Absolutely, yes. So how does Ficina School assist in the development of confidence? So there's a, um, it's through love and discipline and there's a beautiful analogy of a potter. So when a potter throws a pot um, onto a potter's wheel, they need two hands to make the pot. So the inner hand is the hand of love, which allows the pot to expand. And the outer hand is the hand of discipline, which gives structure and shape to the pot. And with that, you need those two things to make a really good pot. <laughs> that is a great analogy. <laughs> I like is. that. Oh, I just want to go back th to the discipline thing a little bit. So, so how do you practically look at setting those sort of boundaries? Well, it's, it's really just making it clear that when you say something's got to be like it is, you, you've just got to make it like it is. So, for example, you're going to do your homework before you watch TV. OK, that's the rule. Right. And you've got, to, you've got to keep to it. If you, if you let them fiddle around with that and have their own scheme, you'll, it'll all go to custard. Because so, you yeah. want them to develop, obviously, but they do need those boundaries. They, they do, yeah. Otherwise, they're not going to develop, you know, they're not going to get their homework done because TV's far more attractive. And they will, of course, push it to <laughs> the extent Absolutely. that they can. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. And then they go off and they sort of slope around. I find this with my children. Yep. And uh, you come back, have you done your homework? You yeah. sound like a broken record. Have you done your homework? Yeah, have you done right. your homework? Well, you need to make yeah. sure those things actually happen. Yeah. So, so what happens after the kids at the age of 10? So after 10, um, once, as long as there's been structure and boundaries then, then it's time for them to explore their world more. So they're, they're going to push up against boundaries at the stage and they need the freedom to do that a little bit. Um, but as long as you've had the structure, then they won't go too far. But they will still listen to the voice of their parents at that stage. The voice of uh, reason, as we like to call it. That's right, yeah, no, that's <laughs> right. They will, they will, you can reason with them much more between mm. 10 and 16 than you can between 5 and 10. And you really want that going into their teenage years, don't you? You, you do, really that, do. They really need to develop that, that reason at that stage. Mm. Yeah. So when do you let go? Yeah, well, this is the most difficult stage of all, is at, really at 16, um, around that age, a child is now an adult, and we need to let them go and explore the world, and they need to go and make their own mistakes and uh, pave their own way in the world. And it, it's really difficult, um, probably, but the problem is if we, we have to treat them like a friend, really. If we treat them like a friend too early, um, then there's problems, but if we don't let go, uh, there's also problems because they, they're going to stop listening to us anyway mm. at that stage. Um, so we need to sort of still have a few boundaries in place but also lend an ear for them to be a sounding board. Uh, absolutely. We need to be there. Mm. Yeah, we need to be the guide by the side as the, as the saying goes. We do. Oh, yeah. It's a tough part for a parent, isn't it? That thank is really you. Hard. That has been very great advice today. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Check out the website on screen if you'd like any information about Ficino School and whether it may be right for your child.